Hi, I'm Zara and I am a Tech Goes Home volunteer. Tech Goes Home empowers communities to access and use digital tools to overcome barriers and advance lives by providing access to digital skills training, hardware, and affordable internet access. Today, I'm going to show you how to use two chat services, Google Hangouts and Google Meet. So they may seem a bit similar, but the main difference between the two is that you can use Hangouts for text messaging, voice calling, and in addition, um, you can also video call up to 25 people at once. Google Meet is only for video calling that can be used for up to 250 people at once, making it good for business meetings or maybe really large family reunions. You can use both of them, um, either from your phone or from your computer. So I'll show you how to use both. I'll start with Google Hangouts on my phone. Before we get started, I recommend connecting to Wi-Fi if you have it, because video chatting can use up some data. So this is a screenshot of my phone. Because I have an Android, I'll start by going to the Play Store, and I've circled it here. Um, if you're using an iPhone, you'll find the same thing in the App Store. Next, um, once I've opened it up, I would type in Hangouts app into the search bar and then tap install. Once it's installed, you can tap open. So there may be a few screens introducing you to how you can use Hangouts and they're pretty helpful if you want to read through them. And the way that you advance through them is by tapping next or I've circled down here. So once you're in Hangouts, if you've ever used Hangouts before, you'll see a list of people who you've messaged and the, and the conversations you've had with them. If you don't, that's okay. Down here, you can start a new message by tapping the green plus. From here, you can start either a conversation, which would be a text conversation, or you can start a new video call. I'll start by doing the new conversation. So if I tap that, Right there. On the next screen, I'll see a place where I can search for the people who I want to start a conversation with. So you would tap into that first entry here where it says name, email, or phone. And so in addition to name, you can also search by their phone number or email if you want to. So I've started by typing in the, the name Will. And here I see this is the Will that I'm looking for. I recognize his picture and his email address. So this I tap the row. And there, I'll see if I have an, an existing message, it'll show up there. But if not, I can just start a message by typing in where it says write a message. Once I've written what I want to, I can tap this triangular button to send it. So if I click the back, back button once I've done sending the message, I can then try starting a video call. So I'm back to here where I was before from tapping on the plus button, and I would tap this video button. So on the next screen, I would do the same thing. I would type in the name of the person who I want to start a video chat with. So I found Will again, and then I would tap this green button that looks like a video camera. Okay, on this screen, um, I would tap allow. This is just so that way the app has permission to uh, take pictures and record video. And this is just to use it while you're using the app. So nothing to worry about. I tap allow. So it started calling Will. And once he picks up, in order for him to hear me and for him to see me, I would tap these two buttons on either side to allow the audio and video to start working. Uh, I can also start a video call with more than one person at once. So on the previous screen, if I've already said that I want to chat with Will, I can also start tapping, uh, start typing the next name and tap on the row of the next person I want to add to the same video call. So I've added Will, Carol, and Jacob. And then to start calling all three of them at once, I would tap on this green button. So that's everything we need to know for how to use Google Hangouts on your phone. So next, we can start talking about Google Meet. So I'd go to the Play Store again, and I've searched for Google Meet in the search bar, and I found this. So next, what I would do is I would tap the button for install. Once it's installed, and that may take a few seconds to a few minutes, um, I would tap open to get started. 
Again, you'll see a few introduction screens like this, and you just need to tap continue. It'll also again ask you for permission to use audio, it might ask you for video, and it's okay to, to tap allow to continue. So next, you'll see a video of yourself. Um, and if I wanted to start a new meeting with some friends, I would tap the button on the left that says new meeting. If I want to invite people to join the new meeting, I would tap share. On the next screen, it'll show you a, different, a few different ways that you can share the link to the meeting with your friends. And you can choose whichever way is most convenient to you. Um, so what I've done is I've tapped on the symbol for Facebook Messenger. And then here's a list of all the friends who I could send it to. So I decided to send it to this group of people. So I tap the button for send. So this is what it would look like in um, the group message with my friends. They would see this link. And by tapping on the link, they would be able to join the meeting and start video chatting with me. So if there is already a meeting that I know that I want to join and someone's shared the meeting code with me, I can tap the button that says meeting code. And so if you know what the meeting code is, you can type it in here. So say this is the meeting code. I just made it up. Um, once you have the right one, you tap join meeting. And if people are already there, you can start video chatting with them. So that's everything you need to know for video chatting using Google Meet on your phone. So next, what we can do is talk through how we can do it from our computer as well. So whichever one's more convenient for you. So why don't we start by talking about how to use Google Hangouts on your computer. So I can get to it by going to Google and typing in Google Hangouts. So the first one up here says Google Hangouts. I'm going to click on that. And so if I've used the service in the past, it'll show me a list of all the conversations that I've had. Um, but if not, I can always look over here and say, let's start with, I want to send a text message to someone through Google Hangouts. So I would click message. So I'd start typing for the person who I want to find. Let's say I want to message Liam. I would type in his name and tap on the row. So down here, if I want to send a message, I would type in hello. And then I would, I would hit the enter button to send that message. Once I'm done, I can close it out by clicking this X right here. So next, what we can do is if we want to start a video call with someone, we would tap the video call button right here. So it'll start showing a picture of me, and then I can type in the name of the person who I want to send an invite for. So I can type in here, and if I hit invite, this person will get the invite and in it through a link, and by tapping on it, they'll be able to start joining you for a video chat. You can also type in multiple people, so you can video chat with multiple people at once and click invite to start that chat. And that's what you need to know for video chatting using Google Hangouts. So now that we've done that, let's go try out Google Hangouts, sorry, Google Meet. Let's go to Google. And now we're going to type in Google Meet. So I'm going to click on this first one here meet Google and it works very similarly. So if I wanted to start a meeting, I would click here. So it shows me right here and I can join a meeting link here now. And just like before, I can invite people by clicking here, typing in their names, and that's what I would do to invite them. So you can also do multiple people at once um, on Google Hangouts and on Google Meet. So now that's everything you need to know to use Google Meet and Google Hangouts either on your phone or on your computer. And thanks for watching this video from Tech Goes Home. Happy chatting.